afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. It is Sunday night, and welcome back to the Insanity. Here we are, traders. Video number 1076. This is short term trading live with Oscar Carboni, and of course, that would be me. Hello, traders. This video is being filmed on Sunday night for trading Monday, September 16, 2013. As we know, futures trading can be extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss, and it is certainly not suitable for all trading accounts. In this business, a stop can certainly be your best friend. Never trade without stops. All right, what's on the board for Sunday night? Trade is where we left off in my chat room all week long. I've been saying this, on Friday especially, we had no less than four Omni flip-flops last week. Four. It flipped Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it flipped again on Thursday night for Friday. And I'm thinking, insanity, all that this means is it can only mean one thing. How many of you Omniacs know the Omni at this point well enough to know what it means when Omni has a flip four or five times in one week? Yes, I'm sure you're answering this question right, some of you. It means we are vacating the area. And that's what I said in the chat room. We are vacating this area. Have your seatbelts buckled on Sunday night. We opened up Sunday night and exploded 17 higher in the S&P. It just opened up gangbusters out of here and vacated the area. So bravo for Omni knowing it was going to vacate the area. Problem is, it doesn't tell you which way you've got to do your daily analysis every day to know why it's flip-flopping and then you follow the market which way it goes. So. With that in mind, ES opened up so much higher, we don't have a trade that we can get into yet. Russell is up there, we don't have a trade we can get into yet. The NASDAQ gets iffy, we may end up in the NASDAQ trade on the long side. For Monday, we'll see what happens, I will keep you posted. So I went, I thought, all right, if I can't find the trade a safe area any longer, now that we've had this higher opening in the U.S. indices, let me go shopping. I figured I'll go look at a couple of other groves and see if I can find another money tree somewhere. What did I find? Gold is a sale of rallies. I will show that to you on the chart. If it rallies, sell it tonight, tomorrow. Corn is in a head and shoulders pattern, and this particular head and shoulders pattern should be bearish because of where it sits on the chart. So corn lower, gold possibly lower. Well, gold is going lower. Corn possibly lower because of the head and shoulders. And I want to tell you this about indices traders. I'm only going to show you one index or indice chart this evening. I'm going to show you only one of the charts, and here's why. Remember that you heard this from Oscar, and I've been telling you this for I don't know how long now. But listen, the indices. Do not listen to the nuts out there. This is a bull market. I got calls, emails. People in my chat room all night Sunday going, it's going down to 15. Hey, Oscar, I just wanted to let you know, this is it. The big crash is coming. The dollar's going to crash now. Summers didn't take the job. It's over. Then the market opens an S&P 17 higher. Don't listen to these lunatics because they're so full of opinion. They can't read a chart. If it jumped out and slapped them in the face, I kid you not. These people don't know anything about charts. How dare you call a guy like me and just tell me the top is in? I mean, I'm the guy that calls the tops, right? If you've been watching me for the last 10 years, you want to know where the top is in? Well, call Oscar. So if you call me and tell me the top is in and you don't have unequivocal proof on the charts, you're a nut. You're just calling the top because, like the people who call the end of the world, it's your time to call the end of the world. If it's your time to call the top and you cannot prove it on a chart, you are a nut. So... Please, just use your charts. All right, traders. If you like these videos, if you like the analysis I'm about to show you in this chart segment, you subscribe to my videos at YouTube right here where you're watching them. Just hit the subscribe button, and each time I put out a video, you will get a, a video, uh, an email reminder. Now, with that in mind, I do one of these videos almost every night, and this video is good for tomorrow, Monday, the 16th of September. Now, we are day traders. We'll, it'll go up, it'll go down, we'll buy, we'll sell over the next few days. So listen, whatever I tell you for Monday is for Monday. What we talk about for Tuesday is for Tuesday. This video is for Monday. All right, traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, the first chart I'm going to show you this evening is the December gold contract. This is the daily bar chart, December gold, 
And you'll see it's been in this channel, working its way through. Seems that if it hits the bottom, it works its way to the top, but that stopped working. And on Thursday and Friday, you had a bit of a nosedive. So you are outside of that channel and you are pointing lower. It looks like the gold should take it on the chin over the next few days. Then we've got something else to look at. Very simple, but very pretty. Traders, you are looking at a head and shoulders in corn. If you want, you can call this one a head and shoulders in corn and look what happened. Well, bam. And then it had this little pull down. And if you want, you can call that another head and shoulders in corn and look what happened. Well, here we are, a bigger head and shoulders. It is, has been in a bear market for some time. So a bearish head and shoulders in a bear market equates to lower, plus we have a red omni in corn. So there's a reason to look at the corn. There are others. If you look at right here, here's your flagpole. Here's your flag. You've broken down out of the flag, so you broke out of a bearish flag in the right shoulder of the head and shoulders, and you have a bearish omni. I don't think corn goes up tomorrow. You tell me, you do your own analysis. Traders, this is the only market I am going to show you. There are two charts in the Russell. It is the only market we're going to talk about, and this is what I meant. I don't care who calls you. I don't care who writes to you. I don't care what this person thinks he knows. If you see a chart that starts down here, and it ends up all the way over here on the right side top corner of your screen, that is a bull market. I don't care what the nuts have to say. This is 2009. Bull market, you know, it just it has pullbacks like any bull market. Rally, pullback, rally, pullback, rally, pullback, rally, pullback. A little rally, pullback, rally, pullback. But interesting now, inside of this channel, we've gotten past any high we've ever seen in history in the Russell. Nice and quiet. Gets above those highs very quietly in the form of a bull flag, no less. How could you call that the top? How could you call it bearish? How could you even look yourself in the mirror when you call that the top? I mean, come on, guys. Look at your charts. Next, the same chart. I'm blowing up that channel just to show you that this is a bull move and you're in a bull market. Why? Since you've been in this channel, you hit the top of the channel, you have this pullback. When you get to the bottom, you make a new high. Now, interesting, this was the old high before the rally. Went all the way to here. Then you had a pullback, and interesting, it started to rally. This was the old rally before the high, and boom, you went all the way to here. Now you've had a pullback, and we're starting to rally. This was the old high. What do you think comes next? It has to be this. That's the way this stuff works. That's called a repetitive pattern. One, two, three. Follow repetitive patterns, they will take you home. Traders, that's my little dissertation on the Russell and the bull market in the S&P and the indices. Everything has pullbacks. This is ready to go higher, not pull back. Do your homework, take a look at that for yourselves. So traders, we're back and there is my argument for why we think the gold can come off, the corn can come off, and why the indices are bullish. Remember, anything can have pullbacks, but a bull market is a bull market. Now, traders, this I want you to remember. This is a motto of mine. This is an Oscarism, but I say it and prove it to you time after time. There are thousands of videos now since 2006 into 2007. We began these educational videos about trading markets. I have shown you, I cannot tell you dozens and dozens of times when I've done something like this, I've shown you that these repetitive patterns are really, really helpful. So here's what I want you to remember. Repetitive patterns are the cornerstones to accurate technical analysis. There it is. Read it, write it down, live it. This is how professionals get through these rough and tumble markets. Traders, I hope you like this video. There's a lot more of these videos out there. There's 1,074, it's 1,075 now, just like this one. And you can find me at livewithoscar.com. Come into my free chat room. Don't you worry, there are no bullies in there. You will be welcomed when you get there. And guess what? It's not going to cost you a dime. <laughs> so come on down to livewithoscar.com and come visit me in my chat room and allow me to teach you how to understand repetitive patterns. Traders, always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that 
is sadist themselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Don't you forget that. Emotions are And I will see you at LiveWithOscar.com. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.